Hey, today we're going to be talking about equivalent ratios and equivalent rates. Remember that the word equivalent just simply means that they are equal. They are saying the same thing. So equivalent means that they are equal. They are the same thing. So if I told you that I had three bones and one ear, that would be the same thing as saying that I have six bones and two ears. And the reason that works is if I double the amount of ears, it should make sense that I would have to double the amount of bones. Now just a quick review three bones to one ear, is that a ratio or a rate? It's a rate because I have two different units. I have bones on top and ear on bottom. You can find equivalent ratios or equivalent rates by the same process that you use to find equivalent fractions. That means you will either multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing, or you'll divide the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. When we went from 3 over 1 to 6 over 2, I multiplied the numerator by 2, and I multiplied the denominator by the same number, by 2. And that's why I got the 6 over 2. I can go backwards from there. I could have said, oh, let's just do 8 over 4. So if I go 8 to 4, I want to get a smaller equivalent fraction. I could divide both of them by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. I've said the same thing. 8 over 4 is the same thing as 2 over 1. They are equivalent fractions. They say the same thing. They mean the same thing. Okay, so we're going to use the ratio 9 fifteenths. 9 to 15. And I want you to give me two equivalent fractions to 9 15. I want one to be larger, and I want one to be smaller. So if we're going to make one larger, that means that we would have to multiply. You don't want to multiply by huge numbers, just a simple number, just to enlarge it a little bit. So let's just multiply both of these by 2. So 9 times 2 is 18. My numerator is 18. And 15 times 2 is 30. My denominator is 30. 9 fifteenths is the same thing as 18 thirtieths. I've enlarged it by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So let's reverse the process. This time I want a smaller number. When you're making a smaller number, you need to divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. It needs to be a number that will go into both equally. So we're going to use a 3. We will divide both the 9 by 3 and the 15 by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. 9 fifteenths is also the same thing as 3 fifths. Okay, so how can finding equivalent fractions, equivalent ratios, equivalent rates be useful? Well, here's an instance. I go into the store and I see that a six pack of boxed orange juice sells for $2.45. Well, I'm going to get more than a six pack, but you know I only brought, I don't know, $30 with me. And so I would want to know, do I have enough money to buy more than this six pack? Well, let's go ahead and predict the price of a 24 pack. Now remember, if I write this as a ratio or as a rate, I would put my money on top because it's price per unit. So we're going to put the $2.45 on top of the six pack of boxed orange juice. How could I predict the cost of a 24 pack? Well, will the 24 pack go on top or will it go on bottom on my equivalent rate? You're right, it's going to go on the bottom. So here's where my 24 would be. Well, how did I go from 6 to 24? You're right. I had to multiply by 4. And whatever I do to the denominator, I must also do to the numerator. So that means 
said I am going to multiply $2.45 times 4. And when I do that math, I discover that a 24-pack is going to cost $9.80. Well, of course, I have enough money. I brought $30 with me. But this is an example of when you might need something like this, be able to do this skill out in the real world. Okay, one thing that I would caution you on is if it asks you to find equivalent rates, and I want a larger one and a smaller one. This is multiply and divide, so I want a larger one and a smaller one. Go ahead and do your multiplication. And so this would give me 12 eighteenths. But don't find your equivalent rate from this answer. Reset the problem. Put the 6 over 9 again, and this time do your division. We'll get divide by 3. And that's going to give me an answer of 2. Third, don't find your equivalent rate off of the rate that you just found or the ratio you just found. Go back to your original ratio and find a new equivalent ratio from there.